Hey, John Walker here for Lakad TV, and I'm really excited to do this video. This video is something I looked for on YouTube. I could not find it. So I created my own video. Probably the day after I post this video, I'll get all the videos I was looking for. This video is about using your iPad and your Windows computer. Here's the question. How do you get video from your Windows computer to your iPad. Let me explain why I need to do this. Now here's my iPad. Now I have been using my iPhone to shoot video. Then I use my iPad to process my video. Well, you know what happens. The video backs up on the iPhone. And even though it's a 64 gigabyte iPhone, it's basically full. I need to get those videos off. And so one of the easiest storage, one of the largest storages I have is my Windows PC. And so now I needed to get the videos from my Windows PC to, yeah, you guessed it, my iPad. And I looked on the internet, I looked at what people said, I couldn't find a decent video. I searched Apple, I still couldn't find a decent video on how to take the videos and pictures from my Windows PC to my iPad. Now I might add, it's real easy to take videos from your iPad to your Windows PC, but to do it reverse is a little complicated. So I'm gonna show you screenshots, I'm gonna give you instructions, I'm going to give you PowerPoint um, displays to show you how I did it so you don't have to do all the hard work I did and I'll try to take you through it step by step on this video. First, let me start out by talking about software. The software you want to use and the software you don't want to use. One, you do not want to use iCloud. iCloud will transfer pictures, but not video. Two, after a while, iCloud only gives you five gigabytes before Apple wants a buck 99. You could use other storage such as Dropbox, or you could use, um, you could also use Google Drive, which is free and gives you a lot more storage. The software you do want to use, step two, you do want to use iTunes. iTunes is the software I'll be using in this video, and I will show you how to move your pictures and video from your Windows PC to your iPad. This will open up a lot of storage for you on your iPhone, so now you can shoot and you don't have to worry about losing video. So let's get started. We're going to talk about, or I'm going to demonstrate to you how to move software from your Windows PC to your iPad. So come along for the journey, the instruction. This will be an instructional video. Okay, the first thing I wanted to show you is I have my Windows PC here, and I also have connected to my Windows PC my iPhone um, cable. iPhone, iPad cable, it's the same. Now the point here is that you may need to copy some videos over. It's pretty basic to copy videos, photos from your iPhone to your computer. You plug it in, Typically, Windows sees it. It sees it as an external drive, USB. Then what Windows does, it asks you, do you want to copy, merge, whatever you want to do with the photos. You can copy individual. You can copy uh, specific files, whatever you want to do. So you should know how to do that. If not, I'll do another video on how to copy the videos and files from the iPhone to your Windows PC. And that'll be a very short. Thing. Okay, I just finished copying all my files from my iPhone into the Windows PC. That's all the videos and all the picture files. So now that I've done that, let's start the process of copying some files back to the iPad. Step one, you want to open up 
your iTunes. And from here, I'll be doing some screenshots, but that's a shot of my computer, and I'll turn it towards you a little bit, bring it in with my iTunes open. For step number two, I'm going to connect my iPad to my Windows PC. So I'm going to connect the iPad. And I'm going to boot into it. And I'm going to log in. Now the iPad's going to ask a question, do I trust or want to use this? And the answer is yes, even if that went away. You can click on your iPad icon. And... Like I said, from here, we'll be doing some screenshots and just talking about the screenshots off of the Windows PC. Pretty important step you don't want to miss. You have to click on your device when it shows up in iTunes. And I'll also do a screenshot. Okay, I'll show you a video real quick. This is the screen of my iTunes. I'm going to bring it. On the left here, you see tabs. Under John's iPad, you have apps, music, movies, TV shows, books. You want to go to photos. That's where you want to go. iTunes gives me the ability to sync photos to my iPad. That's what I want to do next. So I'm going to do the selection sync, but I'm going to choose what I want to sync, what pictures. Screenshot of the sync photos page of iTunes. Okay, we're looking at my iTunes folder again, and I'm going to come in, and you see I'm copying photos from 2017 623. All folders is selected, and that's fine because there's only one folder here. There are no subfolders, but I could have selected the parent folder and then select, click select Folders, selected photos, and I'm going to include videos. Screenshot where you copy your folder or folders to iPad. Remember, you copy a folder or folders, not individual files. Now, that was an important step because you want to have the right folder that you're selecting for your photos. I'm selecting today's photo. If necessary, you may want to create a folder and copy the or move the photos you want over to that folder. You might name it after a project you're working on, a movie, whatever. But remember, you might want to create a separate folder for the files you want to copy over. But I should be able to copy all of today's files with no issue. So I just click the select folder button down here. You see it? That's where my cursor is. And it, then we'll go back to iTunes. Now lastly, you see I have to click the apply button or I can click done. Because I'm a little paranoid, I will always click apply and not done. Now up top, you can read, I will come in, it says syncing John's iPad, step two of four. This will run through and complete, copy and diagnostic information. And then if you come down, when I finish, I'll be able to click done. But I will wait till this finishes. It's on. Okay, it has finished syncing. And you can look and see there are 10 photos that have synced to the iPad. And then you can just click done and you're done. You're out of there. You have copied your files to your iPad. Next, you will want to verify your files have copied to your iPad or iPhone. Now, just a quick screenshot of my iPad. As you can see, my files have been copied over, so I'm good. So I verified they copy and that's it. You're easy way to copy files using your easy way to copy files using iTunes not iCloud remember to use iTunes to copy your files from your Windows PC to your iPad or iPhone so there you have it folks using iTunes 
to copy photos and videos from your Windows PC to your iPad or your iPhone. Now, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. My channel is called Look God TV. Look God's just another name for Walker in a different language. So if you like it, you'll find some videos on technology, on travel, on just shooting videos and pictures, restaurant and hotel reviews. Just some of the things you and I do in a normal life and some of the things I find a little more interesting and I think my viewers might like to see. So please subscribe to my channel, give it the big old thumbs up, and subscribe to Lakat TV, a YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, folks.